The year 2000 seems like a short while ago, but the first developments made in the 3D printing of concrete date back 20 years. After successfully printing ceramics, the Contour Crafting Project, University of Southern California, aimed for using concrete for printing larger concrete construction elements. This Dutch team accepted the challenge and started experimenting. The results were rudimentary, but nonetheless, this meant a first important step in the development of the concrete printing technology. 2005 marks the year that Weber Baymex realized the first manually 3D printed wall in one continuous process. It was three meters wide and over two meters high and took two and a half hours to produce. The wall was built using a cart with its wheels and rails that moved from left to right and back. The cart carried a nozzle that distributed the mortar. In 2015, Theo Salet, professor at the Technical University of Eindhoven, initiated the consortium 3DCP. It marked the introduction of actual 3D printing technology to the previously manual process. Things started moving fast from there. The combined knowledge of BAM, Weber BMX, and TU Eindhoven led to the development of parametric computer models, optimized mortar mixes, and printing robots. Shortly after, in 2017, this resulted in the world's first 3D printed concrete bridge. This 8 meter long engineering feat was placed in Geimert, the Netherlands, and was extensively covered by media across the globe. No more than a year later, the equally newsworthy milestone housing project was revealed. A series of 3D printed houses in Eindhoven. With this, a whole realm of new possibilities opened up for the 3D printing market. Another big milestone followed in 2019, when BAM and Weber BMX opened the first industrial and commercial 3D concrete printing facility. Its two printing robots are now operational and working on projects on a regular basis. In the meantime, the factory intensifies the digitization of the complete design to realization process. They call this process digital manufacturing. So, what are they actually manufacturing there? One of its more recent projects was the Perfect Wave, a skateboard ramp produced for the Dutch Design Week in Eindhoven, demonstrating how the process creates freedom for designers. Currently, the factory is working on another first-in-the-world project, the longest 3D printed concrete bridge in the world. It stretches an unprecedented 29 meters. This project was commissioned by the Dutch city of Nijmegen and designed by renowned designer Michael van der Klee. It consists of separately printed elements which will be assembled on site. A daring and complex project which involves substantial experimenting and testing. 3D concrete printing is not just beneficial for big audacious projects. For normal routine jobs, this technology can save substantial amounts of time, costs and waste. Like the stairs we printed for ProRail, the parametric model allows easy adjustment to each unique situation and is delivered to site as a prefabricated, ready-to-place object, or the formwork of concrete elements for the train station of Driebergen Zeist. This project resulted in an 80% saving on on-site labor and 60% saving on process time on site at no additional cost. Because concrete is only printed where it's needed for the construction, we're able to vastly reduce the amount of mortar needed. And since there's no more need to make molds or casts, we can minimize waste. We're unbelievably proud to come full circle, bringing the concrete 3D printing technology back to the country where the first steps in its development were made. Now we are here in the USA at Autodesk University, and we want to hear your ideas on how this digital manufacturing process could solve your project challenges. So come visit our factory and tell us what we could print for you.